Hey everybody, good to see you today. I am so excited to be here on a beautiful Saturday. Um, it's a little hot out for us today, um, but we are continuing into Battle Frontier training for our squad. What's up, Brody? Hello. Um, <laughs> I think I know the lie. Um, but uh, I want to show you my new shirt because I finally got an Attack on Titan shirt, as you can see. And I don't know if you can see the back because I can't see, but it's got Levi on there. I think it's really awesome. This show, once again, has become my personality. Thank you, Brody. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, we are going to continue. As you can see, we got the squad at level 36, so we each gotta go 14 more levels. Um, we're gonna kinda start to see our final move sets here as we move along. But the reason I'm in Moss Deep is because I wanna do a lot of match call stuff today. I think match call is such a fun little feature and how you can call back some of these gym leaders. Like you can challenge your dad. We got Flannery, we got Winona, we got Tate and Liza. I wanna try to fight all of them today. Um, but I wanna do some of these other random trainers. Like we have a Roma Lady Rose over here. I also think guitarist Dalton, yes, is on Route 118. So we're gonna pop over here. Oop, after we get a call from Ernest. Um, he just got cleaned in a battle, he's got a train. Um, but Aroma Lady Rose, I think, is right here. Um, but yeah, how's everybody doing today? We're having a really good day so far. Um, we were out and about this morning. Um, we'll, we might do a little something in the afternoon, who knows? Um, so we're challenging Rose. I think, yes, this is the third time we've battled her. So her levels are up significantly from where she was when we first challenged her. Um, but it's really nice um, to do this. Okay, so Brody has redeemed one 10 second song. I've never done this before. Let me grab my guitar. All right. So, a 10 second song. Okay, I'm a little out of tune. Okay, so let me see if I can come up with this uh, on the spot. Um, Arrow the Bagon is fighting a shroomish. And when I say Bagon, I mean Shellgon. <laughs> Was that 10 seconds? Perfect. Um, But uh, yes, the new Spotify hit. I gotta make sure I record that. Um, all right. So now we got Gloom. We're gonna stay in. Our flamethrower is gonna be good here. Um, let's see. So yeah, there's not much to do on the squad other than grind. Um, I'm excited to kinda, oh, I didn't want that. I'm excited to kinda get into some kind of match call stuff today, because I think that'll be fun. Um, but at some point, eventually, I'm probably just going to um, do some grinding off screen, because, you know, um, I love to have, like, a nice episode or two dedicated to, you know, whatever it is we're doing. Um, whether it's, like, attack EV training, speed EV training, hatching eggs and stuff. But I don't want to subject you all to just kind of like mindless grinding forever. Um, because I think it is funny that I'm into this uh, Battle Frontier section of our playthrough. <laughs> and uh, we have done absolutely nothing in the Battle Frontier besides like catch Pseudo Udo. Um, so before too long, we're gonna, we're gonna get to challenging, but... Um, for today, we're still gonna explore some of what the post game has to offer here in Emerald, so that's great. I am glad we have some good fire matchups so we can use Flamethrower. Uh, 
Um, back where I grew up, um, they have something going on this weekend called the Bratwurst Festival, which is really, uh, which is really cool. Um, it's like, it's kind of like a known thing in the state of Ohio, um, where it's just this big festival with like a zillion food trucks all along our main street. Um, I mean, I haven't been in many, many years. I don't, I don't stop at home too terribly often, but, um, we had some friends that were like, should we go? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but, uh, so that's fun. And like I said, I started back at school this week. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of just like the Emerald playthrough. You're not too wrong there. Um, I know we had some fights here on Route 121, so we'll get into that. Um, let's see. I think one of these cool trainers, maybe? Yes, that's what I thought. Oh, wow. She's got to defeat 10 trainers a day, and I'm number 10. How crazy. All right, so her levels are just a little bit higher, but pretty much right on par with us, which I enjoy. Um, nothing too insane. There we go. And a Vigoroth. We will go into Stevie here so we can tank these normal type moves. What's up, Happy? How's it going today? Um, lovely. That was my plan all along. I do wish I could use Shadow Ball here. I can probably teach Stevie Brick Break because I'm pretty sure Brick Break is going to be in my moveset. Yes, it is. Um, oh, wow. Hyper Potion. All right. So this, uh, this, guy, this guy is really trying to, to grind this out here. Oh, yeah. I can get rid of Takedown. All right. Come on. No critical hits, which I love to see. Perfection. All right, cool trainer Kristen has been thwarted. Um, I'm gonna see if I can teach Matang Brick Break. Um, if you remember, we picked up this TM in uh, Sutopolis City. It's actually so good because it's a nice powered fighting move, 100% accuracy, but what it'll do is it will break light screens and reflects, which is going to be very useful in the battle frontier, I would wager. Um, all right. Can he learn it? Yes, he can. All right. Absolutely. So here we are going to get rid of takedown, and that's going to uh, help us in our grinding journey as well. Um, lovely. I'm going to talk to a few of these people. I think there's a beauty over here to the left. Or, I guess, to the west. Um, alright. Oh, that's fine. I'll fight this mighty, huh? Oh, nice critical hit. Thank you, Arrow. Some nice attack EVs as well. Yeah, I'm kind of... There we go. I thought it was her. I'm kind of prioritizing Shelgon, just because Shelgon's not that good right now, honestly. If we're being truthful with ourselves. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see. You know, I... Uh, I'm not against it, Brody. I, I would be into doing Crystal Legacy. I, I have played Crystal Legacy. I actually, I actually really like it. Uh, we'll do that. Um, but uh, it probably won't be soon, I would say. Um, but I would be down. I'm actually playing through um, Yellow Legacy right now. Um, just kind of on my own time. Um, which is super fun. Ooh, and she gives a lot of money, which is great. Um, I know some of these people will challenge us again. Um, let's see. There we go. Can I fight you again? Ah, ha, ha, I want to battle again. Nice. 
This was a guy with a bunch of Surskits. Okay, they remain Surskits. Yes, he is making Pokemon Emerald Legacy. I was actually just watching a video. We were probably watching the same video. About what he wants to do with the gym leaders in this game. Um, it's actually very interesting. Um, because he was talking about, like, giving Brawly a Breloom that knows False Swipe, which is kind of, like, really weird. Um... He was talking about making Steven the champion again, like he is in Ruby and Sapphire, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff that they're thinking about doing in that Emerald Legacy ROM. Um, of course, here we just got regular old base Emerald, but I uh, I will play that when it comes out. Because, yeah, I played, I played Crystal and I played uh, Yellow Legacy when they came out. I'm pretty sure this guy up here can re can rebattle you. Let's see. There we go. I don't know if he will. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> there it is. There's nothing in there because we caught him. Um, escape road, lovely. Let's see here. Um, we can try to fight Flannery, because I remember Flannery was one of the rematches we could do. And I don't know how strong her team's going to be at this point. She might be in, like, the 40s, because I think Brawly was in, like, early 30s. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And again, these are all going to be double battles. We definitely want Harry Jr. in on this. I'm going to take Stevie out, though, because that fire is going to hurt. Um, lovely. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. Pretty sure I remember my way around here, for the most part. Yeah, a lot of these trainers blocking me is super helpful. And then I am almost positive it's the one on the right. And it is! Hooray. Alright, so, if we look at our match call once again, we can see we have our dad that we can challenge, we can also challenge Flannery. Passion burn, Flannery. Um, oh, <laughs> you watched a whole deal about Ashley uh, leaving the anime. That is so funny. Um, oh, wow. Ash's whole journey till the end. That's incredible. Uh, that would probably be a 12-hour long video. There's, a, there's years and years of history there. Um, but uh, that's cool. Um, all right, so let's... And he's still 10. He's always still 10. Let's see what she's got this time. Oh. I love how she just has, like, regular, like, girl trainer music now. <laughs> That's funny. I love Pokemon. I love the battle. And I love this gym! Oh! What great passion, Flannery. I love it. Um... All right, let's see. I don't remember what she has now. Oh, she's got a Ponyta. Um, Mag Cargo is so is such an unfortunately bad Pokemon. Oh, but you were talking about Emerald Legacy Brody. This is really interesting because he's thinking about giving Mag Cargo the ability Water Absorb. So I could not exploit that extraordinarily terrible weakness that I just exploited. Um, so that would be crazy interesting to see. Oh, wow. Um, oh, yeah, because every... All of these trainers, um, the gym trainers... Ooh, was trying to get a solar beam on me. Um, all of these gym trainers, they all have a Pokemon on their team that you could not access previously. So if you remember Brawly, he had a Hitmontop where Flannery here had the Ponyta, which is interesting. Um, and this will probably be a one-shot on camera up, so I'm going to run run that strap back. Yeah, we're cleaning, we're cleaning her clock right now. 
<laughs> Let's see. Can Arrow finish the job on Torkoal here? Perfect. Not quite. Sunny day. Say goodbye, Flannery. I'm gonna use Flamethrower just for the gigs, especially because... Oh! Full Restore. Alright, alright, alright. Some hubris on my part. Um, I mean, Flamethrower will be powered up, which is nice. Um... Hmm. Alright, but it did waste their turn healing, so we're still good to go. Let's do a Dragon Breath and a Thunderbolt, and that should do the trick. I mean, Surf probably would have hit through the sun a little better than Thunderbolt, but that's alright. We still do it. We still do it! Um, okay, so for the Battle Frontier Happy, we are trying to get everybody to level 50. Um, because we are going to be challenging at level 50. What does she say? I lost the match, but I'm completely satisfied. It's not often I get to enjoy a battle this heated. Let's have another one like this again sometime. What a good sport. Um, but yes, so that wasn't too bad. Let's give our dad a try. Um, we'll get Stevie in here. Um... Nope, where am I going? Petalburg City. <laughs> um, Dada, that's exactly right. That makes me feel weird. Um, but yes, we're challenging at level 50, and we're trying to get all the silver symbols. And again, something I've stated a lot, I would go for the gold symbols, but I don't hate myself that much. And it would this would be like 100 episodes long um, if we did that. So, I mean, it might still be a lot of episodes trying to get silver symbols, but... Um, all right, let's see what we can do against Dad. I love, I love how there's just like flowers right there, appear to be flowers. It's just a nice little detail. Um, I love the out, the, the, what's the word? Just how this gym is set up. It's great. Um, yes, 10-ish more levels to go. I was, I was kind of saying early on, I want to do, um, some fun kind of match call grinding here today. Um, and then I'm going to try to do some grinding off screen. Um, so that way next episode, maybe, um, we'll be ready to actually start doing some battle frontier challenges. Um, all right. So let's see what dad's got cooking. SCG, I had a feeling that you would come. I would never refuse to accept the challenge from you. You do understand, don't you? Inside a gym, it doesn't matter that we are parent and child. No, because we are parent and child, we owe it to each other to do the best we can. Isn't that right, SCG? Aha. What is his new Pokemon? I don't remember. What does he have? A Chansey, how fun. Oh, and he starts with slacking. Probably wants to use that scary skill swap strat. Say that ten times fast. Um, hmm. And we'll just surf, that's fine. I'm hoping that a Brick Break can knock out this Chansey, just because it has very good special defense, but very poor regular defense. Don't knock out Starmie. It did. I hate that. Hate that a lot. Alright, let's see. <laughs> well, let's see here. I'm hoping... Yep, there's that skill swap. I knew it. Um, I know, that's what I'm saying, Brody. We have been... We've been preparing. We've been preparing for the Battle Frontier. Okay. We are going to... Double up on slacking here. These Dragon Dance, actually... Because Chansey's not going to be too much of a threat now that it has Truant. Oh, no! Okay. My goodness. That's horrific. Um, oh, my gosh. That did nothing. <laughs> oh, I don't know how, my, how well my squad's going to do here. Um, let's see. What if we double up into it? Maybe we could flinch. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. We are losing. I mean, we do have Blaine here, which is nice. Um, 
Okay, I decided to skill swap again, which I like. Um, we are just going to sky attack you because we are not dealing with that. We'll headbutt the Chansey. All right, loafing around. All right, so Blaine's going to outspeed. For Arrow's turn, I'm actually going to revive somebody so we can get some of that experience back. Um, let's make it Stevie. There we go. This should take out slacking, hopefully. Perfect. I don't know if he'll have a second slacking, actually, now that I think about it. Um, very well could. And Spinda's going to confuse everybody on the field, which is just, just great. Um, and with you, I will revive Starmie. An arrow should be able to finish off. Oh, dang it. I did not mean to use Dragon Dance again. Oh, and we swapped abilities. Oh, no. I kind of forget that uh, they can swap abilities with their opponent. Um, crazy. All right. Oh, my gosh. What a combo. Okay, good. Couldn't use freaking focus punch. Um, this is so interesting. I, I'm i like losing track of stuff just because, oh my gosh. Um, well, at least it re-confused the Chansey. Um, okay. Oh yeah, Arrow is just gonna loaf around. All right, I really need to hit this headbutt. All right, there we go, that's nice. And another slacking, oh my lord almighty. Guys, all right, I'm getting rid of this Chansey. Um, and we're just gonna swap into Ziggy. Spinda is just insane, just confusing everybody on the field. Because we will win this with Blaine, because Blaine's at level 60 freaking 6. Um, but I'm really just trying to get levels on, on the rest of the squad. We will win now with Ziggy, it's true. Alright. I'll just try to lower some defense on slacking. Um, Alright, Chansey, just please die. Thank you. My goodness, Ziggy Luck! That's right. Um, oh boy. Okay. I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna have Ziggy Luck, guys. I think that's just gonna be a one shot. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna sky attack, and then hopefully. Hopefully slacking attacks. Oh wait, no, it's gonna recharge. Never mind. Um, so we should be good. Yeah, that's not gonna do a ton, but sky attack is gonna clean up the mess here. I love sky attack. I think it's such a cool move. It just sucks that it takes two turns to use it. It did not kill it. Oh my lord. <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, wow. All right, Harry. I know, that's what I'm saying. Harry might be faster, though. Um, I'm gonna just try to put you to sleep. My lord. <sighs> this is like the most frustrating battle I think I've been a part of in a long time. All right, we're gonna try that again. There we go. That we like to see. Blaine just needs a non-two-turn attack. All right. Okay. 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 We win. <laughs> now I'm afraid to fight Winona, my lord. It'll probably be better than that, though. That Chansey just screwed us. What is your dream? 
Huh, my dream. It's already come true, actually. Oh, I want to run that back. Listen to Norman here. SCG, what is your dream? My dream? <laughs> it has already come true, actually. Because we're a strong trainer that was strong enough to defeat him. How sweet. Father-son bonding. Um, but that was the most frustrating fight in the world. Um, you can battle them. I don't know if there is a limit to how many times you can battle them. There might be a limit to how many times their teams change. Um, I know you can battle them a handful of times. Like, for example, if you fight Flannery again, like she'll get that little Pokeball next to her, her Ponyta, I think, will eventually evolve into Rapidash. Um, but I don't know if there's a limit there. I might have to look that up. It might be like three, if there is one. Um, we're gonna try Winona. We'll see if she smokes us. If we have... Yeah, if we have Harry and Stevie in there, we do at least have the old Thunderbolt going for us. Um, let's see... Uh, you might be back. Oh, okay. Um... Um, see you, Brody, if you're going. Have a good day, as always. Um, Alright, let's see if we can beat Winona with our squad as currently constituted. Um, I'm not sure. How close are we to 37? Okay, very close. Hold on. I'm just gonna snag a random wild Pokemon to... Yes. Just to get Stevie up to... 37. This should do it. Let me see. Oh, barely! Like, we're talking like 20 experience. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Uh, one great thing is I want to continue to max out our EVs. We should be close um, if we're not there already. But once we start getting up around like level 45, we can consider using all of the rare candies that we have. We have 11 of them. So... Uh, yeah, once we start to get into the mid-40s, we can really just top up, top off our levels and, um, really get the squad, get the squad going. Alright. But let's see here first. This puzzle isn't too terrible. And a lot of these puzzles I could just do in my sleep. Just because... These games are just so cozy to play that I just find myself replaying them all the time. It's just so nice. There we go. Easy peasy. All right. So I like having Harry there. We can get that Thunderbolt going. Altaria might still be a problem, but we'll see. Because she should probably be like mid-40s. Maybe even later 40s. Let's have a look. We humans can never escape gravity's pull on the ground. Wow. But by striving for excellence, we have the power to soar. You have scaled the pinnacle as the reigning champion. Oh, how, about, how nice of you. Please allow me to see your power at full light. I really like how she acknowledges that we're the Pokemon League champion now. That's delightful. Um... Oh, she has a Dratini here. Oh, that's so cool. I really like how they kind of brand Winona as like a sneaky part dragon trainer because Altaria's a dragon. Obviously, Dragonite's going to be a dragon. That is very nice. Very cool. Um, the unfortunate thing here is that Starmie's actually not good against either of these Pokemon. I'll get Blaine out here take care of Tropius. Yes, I knew I was going to use Solar Beam. Um, Alright. Dratini should go down pretty quick, I would think. Yeah, not too bad. Ah! And all of Altaria's attacks are two-turn attacks. Um, let's see. Alright, I'm not going to mess around with that. Where are my full heals? They up here. Ooh. 
There we go. And I knew he'd miss his solar beam, and you're just gonna thunder wave all day long. Alrighty. Yes, and I knew that she would bring her Altaria against my Altaria. And I'll do something similar with Stevie here. Because I gotta get her Altaria off the field before it starts dragon dancing and doing some crazy stuff. Um, oh, how was my day? My day was good, thank you. Um, very good, actually. My wife and I were running out, uh, out running errands this morning. Um, and it was super, super nice, super chill time. Ooh, ice beam. We should eat this from just a Dratini, but it's still gonna hurt. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Um, but yeah, we might, uh, step out for a little bit this afternoon as well. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much chilling. Gonna cook some dinner. It's gonna be great. Um, how's your day, Happy? Oh, we're gonna do rest. Why are we doing rest? And a Chesto Berry! Come on! All right, Stevie, way to get the kill. Way to get the kill. Oh, Blaine finally grows another level. How about that? Um, okay, so now we're going to get some actual flying types. Um, what I might do... Yeah, I'm just going to kind of let Stevie ride this out. Um, I mean, no, Shadow Ball is fine against Altaria. Oh, good. Pelipper's going to try to protect anyway. I should have seen that coming. It might try resting again. Yeah, this could take out Stevie. We'll see. Not quite. Saturdays are for chores, is what I'm saying, man. Um, man, I would love to see Shadow Ball take this out. I don't think it will, though. It won't quite be enough. Yeah. Got that special drop. Um, I'm probably just going to kind of let Stevie go down. Um, I knew she was going to use a forest door. Um, because then I can bring Starmie in clean. And I, your special went down, so I'll use uh, Confusion here. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Need another day just to laze around the house. I definitely feel that. We, okay, we don't want Arrow yet. Well, actually, I think it might know Ice Beam. I think I saw. Okay. Don't know if Pelipper can protect or not. I'm just going to use it there. Another full restore, my lord almighty. All right. Um, we're going to do this because I want to get rid of that confusion. Okay, finally Altaria goes down. That's great. Um, okay, we can flamethrower here. I'm actually going to swap Blaine for Ziggy. We're going to maybe sack Ziggy again. <laughs> Ziggy is just such a versatile member of this squad. Um, because I'd love to get a clean swap into Starmie, so it's getting all the experience. Or maybe just Ziggy's going to get all the experience. Who knows? and misses. Wow, they both miss. I'm literally trying to get Ziggy to, to die. This battle so far has gone far better than our battle with Norman, that's for sure. Great. Okay, I actually wanted that. That's lovely. Alright, there we go. We'll get Starmie back in. This is a very peculiar way <laughs> to grind my Battle Frontier squad. Um, okay, perfect. So we're good to go here. And we just Thunderbolt the Pelipper. 
That'll do it. Perfection. Yeah, hopefully our lazy day is going to be tomorrow. Oh, uh, one thing that we're planning on doing is making breakfast crunch wraps, which I'm very excited about. I don't know if any of you have had Taco Bell breakfast before, but it is wonderful. Um, and the breakfast crunch wrap is delicious. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. The breakfast crunch wrap is absolutely delicious. Um, and we are gonna try to make some homemade ones tomorrow, which I'm excited about. That'll be a really fun thing to do. Um, but let me think. We... Tate and Liza might legitimately mop the floor with us. Um, I'm not entirely sure. We can still give them a try. Might as well, honestly. Um, and I know that there are a bunch of other people we can fight. I like to find a couple... Oh, that guy was ready to fight us the whole time. Got a couple 116s. I kind of like to try to find people that are, like, grouped together. Um, so we're not... Alright. And now I'm just kind of losing track of my own mind. <laughs> um, let's beat this guy really quick. Because I know exactly where he is. And there's a lot of these trainers where I, like, kind of know where they are, but don't really remember where they are. But Gentleman Walter, I remember he is over here. He is the dude with the Manetric. Over here. Hello, sir. There we go. And he remains just a, just a dude with his Manetric. A man and his dog. Easy peasy. Oh, he'll probably give a lot of money. Nice. All right. So let's see if we can beat Tate and Liza. This will be interesting, I'm sure. Where is the gym? You're up here. Um, all right, I actually do always enjoy this puzzle. It's a pretty nice time. Because I cannot tell you how many times doing this Tate and Liza puzzle, I have forgotten to come down here and switch this little green thing so that I can get through there. Because <laughs> it is just way off to the side and you would not think to do it. Um, and then I get to the end and I'm just like, gosh, dang it, man. losing my mind there for a second and then here's the little green room and we're there okay I Starmie is gonna be a good lead Stevie will as well with that shadow ball but we're might we're probably just gonna be at a pretty bad level disadvantage um, I should have gotten like melodic or something but here we are let's see how we do <laughs> Okay. I don't know how optimistic I am, honestly. Slowpoke? I don't mind that. Slowpoke's not particularly good. But we are... Okay, we are pretty behind level-wise. We are doubling up on Claydol. Especially because you're going to protect. Lovely. That is fine. But it splits Surf, yeah, so that's not going to do that much. Yeah, this will probably kill Stevie for sure. You know what? You know what? We're just not going to have a fun time. <laughs> I'll fight them later. <laughs> oh, my lord. Um, I think next episode, yeah. My, my plan is to do a little bit of grinding off screen maybe tomorrow. And I think we should be at least close to ready for the Battle Frontier. 
Um, route 116. Where is Route 116? That is gonna be not up there. Oh, I see. We got a, a, a few of the school kid characters that we can battle. Um, and I mean, we could probably do just some like real regular old grinding in like Victory Road or something, um, which I wouldn't mind terribly. Um, school kids. Oh yes, they're up there in the cut trees. This is why I keep all of my HM Pokemon with me so I can just do this. Unless you are one of the kids I can fight. Nope, how about you? Because I thought they were both school kids. Okay, there's one. <laughs> I knew there was. There are two trainers in here we can fight. Even though level 26 isn't going to yield too terribly much. Um, Alright. Yeah, we were not ready for Tate and Liza. Because we, we might have been able to, like, very slowly finagle a victory. But I wasn't overly... <laughs> wasn't overly optimistic. There we go. There's the other schoolgirl. For some reason, I thought this was a battle girl. How silly of me. Wow, that is crazy that that does not one-shot. From 11 levels higher. Um, one thing that we really need to remember, though, is to not let Stevie evolve when... This is the most annoying thing to ever happen. Um, not let Stevie evolve when he normally does because we have to put it off for Meteor Mash. There we go. Um, Ziggy, what you got? Oh, there is one thing we can try in Victory Road. Let's give this a shot. Actually, I'm doing this. Oh yeah, my PC is just totally a mess. Um, let's grab, let's grab Bentacool, and we will swap for Melodic. Just get you in here, just to give us another kind of like legit Pokemon. Um, all right, I'm gonna save our game right here. All right, so let me run in here. One thing that can happen is, or not can happen, it will happen, after you beat the Elite Four, Wally will just be hanging out right here at the very end of Victory Road. And you can fight him, I think, as many times as you want. Well, let me save the game again. So yeah, Wally is just chilling right here after you beat the Pokemon League, and you can re-challenge him. We're gonna give it a shot and see what he's got. Hi, SCG. Ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> I've gotten stronger since last time. Here I come. I feel like his Pokemon are gonna be in like the level 50-ish range. But one, 47, okay. One good thing about this is I can kind of switch train a little bit um, if I get into trouble. Don't paralyze me. Great. All right. Um, oh, yeah, we can just bring in Harry. We use that blizzard, baby. Oh, Harry, good to see you again, friend. It's nice to see some of the original squad members come back. And, of course, we miss. All right, we're not trying to let you get set up, man. 
Okay, good. And we still got the Never Melt Ice on, so we should be in pretty decent shape, I would hope. Right. Perfection. Magneton. Our best bet's probably going to be Arrow's Flamethrower. His Magneton at this point might know some... Might have some lock on and zap cannon strats. It also might try to use like tri attack or something. That's probably why we caught a screech there. Thunderbolt, okay. We should eat this. Okay, good. Magneton does have some really good special attack though, so that was not guaranteed, not by a long shot. I don't know if Wally will use full restores here. Um, he will! Classic. I'd love to see Bagon get... I keep calling him Bagon. I'd love to see Shelgon get this kill by himself. But that probably won't happen now. You know what? It can still happen. But I'm just gonna use potions, baby. And unless we got a critical hit, I knew that was going to happen. I like manifested it in my mind, and that's that has a screech. Okay, cool. Great, love it. Lovely. Uh, I took a long road to get there, but Arrow takes out the Magneton. Um, Del Caddy. This will be great for Stevie. Use that brick break. Brick break, baby. Oh, I cannot wait until the squad is ready. Oh, a favorite starter trio. That's a great question, Happy Math. Um, it's very interesting. My favorite trio is probably got to be Generation 2, um, Johto. I know they're probably not, like, super high on most people's lists. I'm just really, I'm really biased to Johto. That's a nice critical hit. Um, but Totodile, Tr Chikorita, Cyndaquil, I love them all. Um, and, like, you know... Uh, ooh, Psychic. That's great. We can get rid of Confusion. Psychic might <laughs> be in our final moveset, so we are almost there with uh, Matang slash Metagross. We just gotta get Meteor Mash instead of Metal Claw. Um, anyway, so my favorite starter trio, it is probably Johto there. Um, I love all the first forms. I think... Totodile is one of my favorite first form starters. Um, I think Meganium is one of the most underrated starters out there. Um, I just think it's really cool. And the Hisuian Typhlosion that they made for Legends Arceus is just freaking awesome. Um, really, really love that. So, yeah, it's probably them. But other ones that I love... I would say this one in this game is one of the objective best, like, across the board. Um, I do know my least favorite is Generation 5. That's that's not uncommon, though. I feel like that is a lot of a lot of people's least favorite starter trio is Generation 5. Even if they love those games in general. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Alright, Harry Jr. can at least tank some psychics, I would hope. Um, and I do outspeed. Oh, I could have just used Surf. I don't know why I didn't. Um, good. Hopefully I kept it out of full restore range by doing that. Okay, awesome. Um, but yeah, my favorite's probably Gen 2. My least favorite's probably Gen 5. But there aren't any that I, like, hate, you know? Um... I would say probably the one I... Yeah, just the one I like the least is Gen 5. 
How about you, Happy? What's your favorite? So yeah, the Wally fight's going decently. Um, haven't had too much trouble. Our Matang did go down to that uh, silly little future site. Oh, an arrow probably will too. Goodbye. Um, let's see, Harry. Harry's not in a great spot. I'm probably just gonna have to switch train this, and that's all right. We'll get it. Oh, we have Harry and Harry Jr. I just realized in this fight. How cute! Oh, and the original Harry is gonna take down this Roselia for the uh, the new Harry. How adorable. I love that. Your top three are Gen 3, Gen 1, and Gen 2. I get you. I get you. I feel that a lot. Um, what is... What's an underrated one? Uh, I would say Scarlet and Violet's a little bit underrated. I really, really, and I mean really, don't like the water starter in the newest games. I think it is... One of the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen. <laughs> um, let's see. A family that fights together stays together. Nice. Um, all right, so we defeated Wally. How cute. Um, you're strong after all. And what does he say here? I couldn't beat you this time, but one of these days, SCG, I'm going to catch up to you and challenge the Pokemon League. Again, I don't remember if he... How, how often you can challenge him. Um... Oh, do we get a free heal? No. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I just swapped trained Harry. Let's see. Oh, you don't like any of the trio designs from that gen. I will say, um, I wanted Sprigatito to be kind of like a cool saber tooth tiger type of thing. Because I started with Sprigatito. That was always going to kind of be my choice. Um, so I did not like Meowskarada at first, um, but it actually grew on me a lot, and I actually really like Meowskarada now, and I think Skeledurge is super solid. I just, man, I hate Quackle Ball. I hate it. Man, I hate it. I find it quite terrible. And I know there will be fans out there, so if you want to yell at me in the comments later, please do so. I welcome it. Um... I'm not hating on you for liking it, but man, do I dislike it. That is the truth, kids. Alright, so I'm gonna pop up here and heal the squad. So let's see. This episode... Oh, do I hate any Pokemon? Um, really dislike. Yeah, I would. I, I mean, Quackleball is one of them. I really, really don't like that thing. Um, I'm not a big fan of Embor, um, Gen Five starter. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think if there are other ones. There aren't a lot that I like. Dislike. Because a lot of times, the ones that you just don't care about, you just never use them. But some of the starters that you don't like are still just very visible. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Those are the two off the top of my head. I can't think of any other ones that I'm just like, I hate this thing. Um, I'm sure I will think of some at a, at a later date. Um, but, folks... Um, I'm probably gonna call it there. I'm, I'm happy to do some of the mash calls and train the squad up a little bit. Um, we really didn't get that many levels. <laughs> we got like two levels a piece on all of them. But doing the math, um, with our rare candies, wherever those are, they are down here. Um, all we need to do, we need to get one of them to 47 and two of them to 46. Once we get there, we can top the squad off with rare candies to get to get them to level 50. So what I will probably do is I will probably do some grinding off screen 
um, to get them to that point. And then once I do, I'll clue you guys back in when we finally rare candy them up and we can start challenging the uh, Battle Frontier. But, uh, you know, I see a few more of you popping in, which I really appreciate, so I'll, I'll do a little more grinding here in Victory Road. Um, I have done a ton of grinding here. Ooh, nice to have Psychic for the Hariyamas here. Um, I have done a ton of grinding in this Victory Road just because in Ruby and Sapphire, um, I just found it way easier to get to the end of the game at like such a low level. I, I have a memory and I really don't know how much I skipped or whatever, um, or like how many trainers I skipped maybe. I have a memory of getting to the Pokemon League without my starter being evolved. Like I was at like, I had a Marsh Tomp at like level 34 and I was somehow at the end of the game. And then it's just like, what else do you even do? Um, Cause one thing they did with this game is by adding so many of these double battles, um, they add so much more experience to the game, which makes it way easier um, to level up your squad as you get to the end. And I've kind of pointed this out before. They give you Rayquaza super early. So, um, or not super early, just before the Pokemon League, and it's at level 70. So you are really in a good spot there. Um, let's get Harry. Escape rope. I have like 100,000 escape ropes. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's kind of the deal with Ruby and Sapphire. Because you can still catch the the box legendary in those games, Groudon and Kyogre. But the only issue is uh, they're at level, I think, like 45. Um, which, you know, is good, but it's still like nowhere near the level 70 Rayquaza that you're going to have in Emerald. Um, yeah, I talk about I talk about third versions a lot and how they're my favorite games um but once they aren't that much terribly different until you get to emerald i feel like emerald they definitely do the most with it um yellow they do a lot too um change a lot of gym leader teams but i feel like emerald they they do it the most and emerald they do it the best um as well because as we have been going through this through this playthrough, um, and you know I've done this with our previous ones as well. Uh, I hate when they use whirlwind. Um, as I've been going through it, I have just been pointing out tons and tons of differences between um, this game and the original Gen three games because there are a ton of them. Um, all right, once uh, Starmie hits level 40 or we die, whatever comes first, I'll, I'll call it here. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to not care about the EVs anymore. Um, that can be very tedious. It is kind of fun um, to really get into the nitty gritty of your Pokemon stats, um, just the EVs and the, and the nature stuff. But as, you know, as you saw with the normal playthrough, I did not even look at the natures or abilities of my Pokemon that I caught. Um, I'm just like, oh, cool, here's this one. I am just going to use this. Um, all right, level 40. Perfect. Um, all right, gang. So with that, I'm going to save the game because I have anxiety. And... I really appreciate really appreciate you all stopping in today. Happy, good to see you. I love I love to see you on these weekend streams. Um, and uh, yes, you have a great weekend as well. Um, I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to keep going. Um, 
I'm gonna, you know, try to keep my schedule um, as best best I can. Uh, with school starting up, things are kind of squeezed a little bit, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, I'm still gonna make some time to have fun with you all. And until then, I will see you on Monday. And have a great weekend. Peace, kids.